So Pennsylvania residents are not immune to stinging and irritating caterpillars found in North America. So here is a non-exhaustive list of the ones you're most likely to encounter. Number one will be the saddleback caterpillar. They're only a half inch to an inch long and they're rarely seen moving. But if you come into contact with it, you will feel immediate and intense burning. Uh, followed by redness around the contact point, possible blistering, and red marks that may last for a day or two. Now this is the monkey slug, and though it looks more like a crazy sea creature, it is just a simple caterpillar underneath all those crazy looking arms. So if you brush against this one, you will have almost immediate pain and itching, followed by a welt at the contact point and reddened skin around it. But look at the crazy beautiful moth it turns into. Next up is the puss caterpillar, and these are considered the most poisonous caterpillar in the United States. They will cause immediate intense burning and pain, followed by the appearance of a red grid-like pattern where the point of contact was, swelling, and you can also get headache, fever, nausea, rapid heart rate, low blood pressure. I mean, it, the list goes on and on. Some people are more sensitive than others, but this guy is really a stay away. Here we have the white hickory tussock. They're actually really pretty. Um, you can get a rash from these guys, possibly burning, swelling, pain, and hypersensitive individuals can also experience nausea. And here's its harmless moth. Okay, so here's the buck moth caterpillar. These are probably the spikiest out of the whole bunch. Uh, these will give you immediate and intense burning at the contact point, followed by redness, blistering, which can last up to five hours, and it will leave a red mark. In more severe cases, you can get migraines, gastrointestinal disorders, asthma, and possibly even hemorrhaging, but this is in super sensitive individuals. And the buck moth is actually really beautiful. And finally, we have the spiny oak slug. They can come in uh, several different varieties of colors. They're generally very pretty and very tiny. They can cause itching and burning and redness at the contact point. And here's the moth that turns into. Uh, as a final note, it may help to be aware that these caterpillars do not actually sting you intentionally. They have hairs that are hollow and filled with toxins. When you brush against them, the hairs easily break off and get embedded into your skin, releasing the toxins into you. So it's just their defense to not get eaten, and it is not done intentionally by any of these caterpillars.